Hey guys, here is an absolutely stunning picture of a plant cell in beautiful, beautiful detail. I'm going to talk you through what all the parts are, what all the parts do, and if you want a copy of this picture so that you can um, scribble all over it so you don't have to draw it out for yourself, pop over to my website and it's in my free revision guide. is our beautiful plant cell and I can say it's beautiful because I didn't draw it. If I drew it it would look absolutely nothing like this. So starting on the outside we have our cell wall and this is responsible for keeping the shape of the cell so keeping it um, rigid when it needs to be so that the, the plant doesn't lose the structure. Then moving in, we have our cell membrane. This bit is responsible for um, controlling what goes in and out of the cell. So water, ions, they all need to go through the cell membrane. The cell membrane is the bit that controls it. We have our cytoplasm. A bit that is often overlooked um, and that's where most of the reactions take place. These green bits here are our chloroplasts. This is where photosynthesis is going to take place. Here, this large empty space is going to be our vacuole. Um, this is full of sugar or sap. Moving round, we have our mitochondria. This is where respiration is going to take place. And then here we have our nucleus. That is where all the DNA is, where all the chromosomes are. That's the bit that's responsible for um, making sure the cell does what it's supposed to do. And then these little black bits here are the ribosomes. These are responsible for protein production. Three things that are in a um, plant cell that aren't in an animal cell are going to be your cell wall, they're going to be your chloroplasts, and they're going to be your vacuole. That's a really, really common question that comes up. Now that is all that you need for GCSE. You'll notice there are a few other structures on here that I haven't talked about. I'm going to talk about those now for um, students that are interested in what they are, for students that want to make sure they get the top, top, top grades. So we're talking about this is your extension work now. Um, and students that have come back here from A-level just as a little recap. So the three things that I have the left to talk about are this bit, this bit and this bit and you can see they're all a very very similar shape. That's because they're really really interconnected and they work together. So this one here is the rough ER or rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now this and the smooth ER which is this one over here are responsible for transporting um, newly made proteins and stuff around the cell. You'll notice that they're very very similar but the rough ER has all these little blobs, these are ribosomes um, all around them um, because this has a lot to do with transporting newly made proteins. So if our ribosomes are making proteins it makes sense for the proteins to be made next to the place that they're going to be transported around. And then this last one here is our Golgi, 
or our Golgi body. Um, that is responsible for packaging and carbohydrates. Squeeze that on. Carbohydrates. So those three things work very, very closely together with each other, but aren't generally required for GCSE. And there you go, guys. Um, this one, together with the bacterial cell and animal cell, take you through the main structures and functions that you need to know.